<laughs> Hopefully, anyway. At least you're not like pouring water or. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sad party. Me. We're here at Mitch's house. And there's fucking it's... candles, and there's running water from the creek down the back, and there's crickets, and it's all fucking happening and out here. The running water's making me need a piss so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the... It's good. But the neighbors don't wear shirts. <laughs> So what's been happening? <laughs> <laughs> you ask me this every time, and I know really not it's a good. great deal's happened since. Yeah. I am um, just finishing my fifth beer right now, and <laughs> we're rolling. Um, you got to keep up the illusion that it's another day. Another yeah, it day is. has started. <laughs> so today, I um, what did I do today? I went shot down, a, shot a bunch of people, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's went on a murderous rampage. <laughs> uh, I haven't done anything good. I seriously like nothing exciting's happened in the last little. A little bit of time. <laughs> nah. Well, even still, like... You know, a funny story, actually. We're sitting on the back deck, so you guys can't see, but we can see. Um, see, on this fence railing here, there was a... Like, and we had, like, four possums out here. And then we fed them apples, and they didn't come back. Really? Yeah, they ate and fucked off. Oh, did you give them the seeds? Because the seeds have got bits, trace cyanide, trace bits of cyanide around it. Well, yeah. I didn't want them to come back. <laughs> exactly. I meant to say it's a success. Like, they're not back again. <laughs> Those possums will be leaving us one star reviews. Like, yeah. No one cares oh. about your Bunnings voucher. <laughs> you get a scathing Yelp review on it. <laughs> scathing Yelp review at my house. Which is a bit strange from possums who oh, somehow geez. have an iPhone. I do like your house though. Your house is really cool. It's right near the beach, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I do. It is in the middle of nowhere, but yeah. I live near the beach. That's alright. I'd rather be in the middle of nowhere near the beach than in suburbia. Yeah, we're near, near idiots. Like in, um,. <laughs> Like the city of Casey, for example. <laughs> exactly. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so nothing... You got nothing new to report? Nothing interesting? <sighs> to be honest with you, hmm. actually, Jess made a really nice Mexican fiesta for me tonight, oh. which is quite good, but you were obviously late, so you didn't yeah, get to no, enjoy I that. I didn't get to enjoy it, so... Um, yeah, which was quite good. Although I do see a bottle of Tabasco sauce on your bench that I'm going to go do shots of later, so... <clears throat> I hope you're taking them anally. <laughs> yeah, anal shots. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, let's do the quiz. This one's from... This is a gigantic quiz. Oh, you're listening to the Sad Party as well. Oh, Sad Party. Yeah. We don't know how to do things. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's like being punched in the earlobe. <laughs> We're not good at like things. Like a speed bag. Yeah. By some sort of silverback gorilla. Sad Party, a frozen diarrhea popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the quiz from Sunday, December 16th, 2018. The literal sound of murder. But, funnily enough, this one's not called the quiz. This one's called, Have You Been Paying Attention? Clearly we haven't been paying attention, because I didn't know this one wasn't called a quiz until just then. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Which English singer-songwriter released the studio album Egypt Station earlier this year? Sounds terrible. Um, English, English si singer? Singer-songwriter. Uh, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran? Sheep Sheeran. Um, he sounds English. No. I didn't actually say any person, but I didn't know. I should claim... <laughs> didn't even... I should claim Paul McCartney now, but I won't. But it was Paul Is McCartney. Is he still making songs? I think so. I thought he was dead. Well, he's nearly 900, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> he's about 900. <laughs> looks about 900. Oh, uh, his missus took him for an, arm, for an arm and a leg, because she only had one. Yeah, the one with one leg. Wait, really? Yeah, she had... Didn't you know he had a missus with one leg? Prosthetic, though? Oh, I'm sure she had a prosthetic. Yeah, no, she's, that's all right. She just hop everywhere. Yeah, like, no. Oh, Paul McCartney's my husband, but I can't afford a leg. <laughs> I've got a leg to stand on. <laughs> Jesus. Not with Paul around. Next oh, question. Jesus. Yes, good. No, so... What? Nothing. Zero for What was one. the answer? Oh, Paul McCartney. Paul McC <laughs> yeah, <laughs> What right. was the question? <laughs> all right, number two. You'll know this one. Who stabbed it's... Monica Sellers? No. <laughs> all right, next question. Where in the world is Monica Sellers? <laughs> Getting stabbed. <laughs> City of Casey, Carmen San Diego, shanked her. <laughs> Number two, who won the 2018 Brownlow Medal? Oh. The 2018 yeah. Brownlow Medal. So, like, this a month year. or two ago. Oh, God. No, it wasn't God. I actually listened to the Triple M Hot Breakfast every single morning. And I should know this. Oh. But you, sh you should know it. Trent Conchin. I don't understand that sentence. But, um... It was a statement. The only footy player I know of is Rory Sloan, because he's a family friend. 
And he's a good dude, but I don't think he won. Cause I'm sure I like how when someone's it. famous, you just claim them as your friend. I will. Like yeah. Freddie Mercury from Queen. Like, you reckon you know him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. He gave me AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, um, what were we talking about? Gold. Footy. I was going to say AFL, it the great game. Gold low medal. Okay, <laughs> gold low. Gold low brown medal. Different colour. Brown low medal. A brown nose medal. Um, who do you reckon? What did you say? Trent. I said Trent Cotchin. Trent Cotchin. But I know that it's wrong. Tom Mitchell. Tom Mitchell. Oh, the Hawthorne boy. I actually support Hawthorne. I should have known that. Isn't Tom Mitchell a stand-up comedian? No. No, uh, that's Tom Ballard. Where did I get... How did I get... <laughs> Tom Ballard from Tom Mitchell? Fuck you, are the worst. I don't know. Hey. What are you talking about? Settle down. Number three. Who is Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs? Uh, Peter Dutton. No, it's a chick. I'm sure it is. I'm no, sure. she got fired, mate. You're thinking of Julia Bishop. <sighs> yeah. I think she got the um got the old boot when she went for the yeah, old I think PM. Yeah, Knight beats Bishop, so... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played chess. <laughs> Have don't... you never played chess? No. Nah. That's a shame. Yeah. Hey, um... Not that you'd be any good at it because you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, those stupid stumpy fingers won't work on the, the chess horses. Um, who is Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs... Who do you say? Was or is? Is. Peter Dutton. Peter Dutton. Peter Harvey. Dutton. Canberra. Canberra. <laughs> Canberra. Um, Maurice Payne. Never, I, oh. I was half right. I said it was a chick. That Maurice is a dude. What? Maurice? Maurice. Oh, Maurice. M-A-R. M-A-R. Sorry, you had a speech impediment. I couldn't understand <laughs> you. Talking with a limp. Um, <laughs> number four. The Roman numerals... M M X V I I I create which number? M M X V I I. Yeah. M is a thousand. <clears throat> so two thousand. Two thousand eighteen. Is it two thousand eighteen? I think it's two thousand eighteen. You just gave me the fucking answer, you retard. Yeah, well, you know, Think in your head. Never get Think in your head. No one wants to hear it. <laughs> you never had enough time if it said two zero. Think in your fucking head. Spell two. Say two zero one eight. Spell two zero one eight. Yeah. <laughs> Say 2018. Thanks for the answer, dipshit. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think it's 2018. What's it? MM. Mixv. Mixv sounds like 2018. I think. Oh, it sounds like someone would... 2018. Put, yeah, someone would fucking put that on their clothing label. Mm. And be like, yeah, established in 2018. That's <laughs> fucking possum yeah. the truth. Sad party. Established <laughs> Mixv. <laughs> established Mixv. Um... Uh, what is the main alcoholic beverage used in the cocktail margarita? Piss. <laughs> Piss. <laughs> Actual urine. In a margarita? Is it tequila? No. Tequila? Tequila. I think it's just, um... Oh, fucking a margarita. It's tequila. I'm sure it's tequila. Are you? I'm sure well, Maybe it's you should te- go with that, mate. No, I might go with vodka. You're going with vodka? I'm yep. going tequila? Um... You idiot, it's tequila. Fuck you, is yeah. it really? Yeah. You're a dipshit. I thought margarita was on the orange juice. No, margarita's, the, one you get at the, margarita's the one you get at the Mexican house. Um, I fucking hate you. I thought the main I fucking hate alcohol you used in the cocktail margarita was like tomato paste and oregano. <laughs> 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 Alright, number six. Who released the single Chewing Gum in September this year? Yeah. A single called Chewing Gum. Oh my... Chewing Gum? Yeah. Who... Who the fuck would you... The music... Can I say the music industry is absolute garbage. Yeah. It is disgusting. <coughs> Whoever thinks that Chewing Gum's a good name for a song is... Probably, probably, not a, probably a lot richer than <laughs> us. <laughs> a lot richer and probably still a lot smarter, but fuck them. <laughs> They're not sitting on your back It has deck. to be, um... It'd be... One of those fucking women. Uh, <laughs> no, like, um, no, 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 you know, like Cardi B, or oh, what's the other one? Ariana Grande. Like Ariana that. Grande, or... I'm going to get Ariana Grande, actually. That yeah. sounds quite good. She sounds like a Starbucks drink. Um, I'm That's where she s- got her name from, actually. Yeah, Ariana Grande last <laughs> Just getting a coffee and thought, oh, Grande, that's a large. <laughs> um, Create a large? No, it's a Grande. <laughs> oh, and then the penny drops. She's like, Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say, who's that stupid one? The really annoying one. Um, Cardigan B? No. Pullover B. <laughs> um, Missy... Oh, Missy Elliott? No, not Missy Elliott. Shut up. 
The other one, the stupid one, that sings about anacondas. Oh, um... What's her name? Sausage Fingers. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> no, it's it's Sausage anac- Fingers. What's her sings name? Sings about anacondas? Yeah. Oh, Rihanna? No. Under my anaconda. No, that's Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> and she's keeping the rain off her anaconda with the yeah, umbrella. Yeah, that's right. Um, ah, oh, Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll say Nicki Minaj. All right. You can say All that. Right. Number six. Blood Orange. What? A.K.A. Dev Hines. Blood Orange. Oh that's God. a... Sh- oh, oh. Man, I hate that. Blood Orange. Have you seen... What does that even of course mean? You, of, course, of course you've seen this because you're a loser. Um... That idiot named Little Pimple or Little Puss or something like that sings Gucci Gang. A song called Gucci <laughs> little, Gang. Little I don't Puss. Know. Oh, is that Little uh, Little pimp? Puss? Is that what his name is? Little Pimp? Little Puss. Little Yachty? Little Pimp? I don't know. It's called Gucci Gang. It's seriously oh, yeah. <laughs> the worst That's, yeah, song. I know the song. Oh, he's God. Got, like, it's tragic. He's got a grill. Looks like he's got like, the, like an... Inside out Fanta can in his mouth <laughs> for the grills. And it's, oh, it's the worst. It's and just, just. Some of my old work. It's a mouth disgrace. Sean, who I used to work with, showed it to me. And Sean, I love you to bits, but I hate Did he you. actually show it to you like as an endearment? No, he showed song? it to me because he knew it would make me angry. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, right. And I seriously. He didn't show it to you. Saying, I'm sorry, oh, Sean, but I hate hey, you Dale, so much. Hey, Dale, look at this <laughs> sick track, bro. I hate you so much for showing me that oh, song. Man, but it's I the worst. It. It's. And then Shocking. he's standing on the roof of a car and it's meant to be real hardcore and he's like smashing up but he's just smashing like one window. I'm like, it's like 150 bucks. <laughs> it's like, my mate Ian fits windscreens. I'm like, he'll hook you up. He'll hook you up for like 130. And I'm like, you're That's not so a gangster. Good. It's the worst. Yeah, just... And he just, he looks like a weasel, like a genuine yeah. <laughs> weasel. He looks like the bad weasels from Roger Rabbit. There's so, yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, a lot of them. That's oh, a big thing. It makes me thing, so though. angry. But I don't know how they get away with how bad it is. It can't be that hard to write a rap song. No. It cannot be hard. If we can make a podcast, I feel like making a podcast is harder than making a rap song. <laughs> making this absolute garbage podcast oh, it's got to be easier than making fucking it's Gucci just, Gang. Oh, it's the worst. Anyway. Um, Alright, number seven. Which driver, and it wasn't... Little, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. It wasn't Little, little Pimple or whatever. He, what's his name? I think it's Little Pimp. Little Pimp? Nah, nah it's something else. Uh, little Peep. No, it's... Uh, it doesn't matter. He sucks anyway. Which driver won the 2018 Formula One Italian Grand Prix? Dan Ricciardo. I'm going to say Dan Ricciardo too. He's no. ace. Let me have a look. Nah, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, he wins everything. Yeah. Why did I pick him? <laughs> look at Australian papers. <laughs> uh, who Number eight. Who was the female member of the famous 1960s folk group Peter, Paul and... Insert female name here. Ah, uh, Peter, Paul, and Robin. Is it? Sounds good to me. It sounds better if it's. It sounds the right like it answer. should be like Peter, Paul, and Mary, but I think that's because of like so, ca- Catholic stuff, <laughs> God bothering things. Um, I don't know. Genevieve, maybe. Peter, Paul, <laughs> and Genevieve. I don't know. I seriously have no idea with that one. Let me have a look. Mary, that was a good guess. But only because of religious things. I don't know who Peter Paul is. Is it Mary actually is. the right answer? It's actually Mary, yeah. You fucking disgust me. Yeah. You're so dumb and you still got the answer right. Um, number nine. Who was awarded the 2018 Miles Franklin... F- Franklin. Franklin. Miles Franklin. Miles Franklin Literary Award. <laughs> <It's about> literary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, the irony. <laughs> who was awarded the 2018... Miles Franklin Literary Award for her novel The Life to Come. Oh, to be Damien Rodivo. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. Uh, J.K. Rowling. I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. Michelle de Kretzer. Oh, great books. Michelle de Kretzer. My dad had a superannuation guy named Des de Kretzer. De Kretzer's not a very common surname. I wonder if they're related. They'd obviously have to be. They're probably a, a Christmas lunch at some point. <laughs> They're sitting around going, what have you been up to? <laughs> Just doing tax or something, guys. I did Chubb's tax thing. <laughs> um, what do you do? Oh, I won a literary award, the Miles Franklin. <laughs> all right, so the winner of the Miles Franklin was... I can't even remember her name. Something to Kretzer. Um, All right, you'll know this one because you're a dork. Number 10. Which Australian has registered the most career runs in test cricket with 13,378? 
Australian. Yep. That's a lot of runs. Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? How long's a cricket track? Whatever it's called. No, you don't run them all. Well, you hit boundaries. Well, that's, you... that's further to run. No, no, no. You don't have to run. If you uh, hit the ball to the rope, it's four runs. Or if you hit over the cricket's rope, it's basically six. Star Wars with a ball and a stick. I hate you. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. <laughs> and funnily enough, cricket's played with rubbish bins as well in backyards, like Star Wars. <laughs> Stupid space. So stick which Australian, ball. which Australian cricketer yeah. has scored the most international runs? Ah, mm. uh, fuck. Shane Warne with nah, a ciggy in his mouth. Be... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, fuck. I want to say Ricky Ponting. Ricky Ponting, but I think that's wrong. Yeah. I th- Steve Waugh or Ricky Ponting. All right. I have no idea. Can I have two guesses? Yeah. Ricky Ponting or Steve Waugh. It's one of those two. All right. I'm going to say David Boone. (laughs) (laughs) Number 10. Ricky Ponting. Yes. Yes. Well, a half yes. I'll still give you a full point. Give me a full point. (laughs) So I did say Ricky Ponting first. But I felt like I owed it to Steve Waugh to at least... Shut up and answer. Number 11. Shut up. You shut your fucking... The Tiwi... You shut your fuck hole in your face. (laughs) The Tiwi Islands are located off the coast of which Australian state or territory? Queensland. I think it's Northern Territory. I think the Tiwi Islands are... Right. Actually, I'm going to change my guess. Western Australia. I think the Tiwi Islands are near like Melville Island and that sort of stuff. I think. Number 11. Let's have a look. Northern Territory. Yes. Fuck. Ha. Huh. This is fucking not going That's well. That's what you get for being stupid. But yeah, this I one... I think the home ground advantage is hurting me in this... This one's... The, I've got 20 questions instead of 12, so oh, it's better. Oh, that's good. I can come back. Yeah. From the dead. <clears throat> Number 12. How many women's singles championships did former tennis player Anna Kornikova win during her career? Her dad was fucking crazy. No, that... Oh, I no, see, that's the other one. I hate you so Trying much. Trying to <laughs> Yeah, with crazy Bill Dockich as her dad. <laughs> oh. That guy's fucking drunk all the time. Um, Who, wait, so how many did Anna Kornikova win? Um, how many singles titles? Yeah. She was pretty good. She's pretty handy with a racket. Yeah. Um, and she didn't have a crazy dad, so that might have cost her a couple. Yeah. I think the way to go good in tennis is to have a crazy dad. You need someone... You really do need someone screaming at yeah. you and fighting people in the crowd while you're playing. <laughs> my That's very my dad never beat me growing up. That's why I'm no good at tennis. Dad, if you're listening <laughs> to this... Go back in time, start hitting me. I want to be a good tennis player. Well, you need to be just even, not even just like some verbal abuse. Like, my legs are too going. my legs are too short You'd for be tennis. You're the worst though. tennis player. You're like, you've got the most opposite of a tennis player body <laughs> I've ever seen. Running back across the court, it looked like you know when Marvin the Martians running run. back to his spaceship. <laughs> you know what you'd be good as? A catcher in softball. Like you'd be the fucking ultimate. Not in baseball because you have to move too quick, but a softball like underarm uh, TR. Like you'd be a great catcher. I think it'd be better shape for like. Archery or something. Like <laughs> yeah. that. You're built like a darts player. The grand slammer player on Siggies. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say none. You should smoke a hundred Siggies. Oh, for just sure. Just for fun. Just for one one day. Yeah, just go for never in. smoking ever. <laughs> Play a hundred Siggies. Do like a social experiment. Just smoke a hundred Siggies. The in grand slam. Grand feel. slam of darts. Um, um, yeah, I'm, gonna I'm, say, gonna... I'm gonna say none. She won entirely <clears throat> none singles. I'm gonna say that she won three. Uh, singles titles. But she could have won five. You're stupid. She was none. Was it? Yep. I win again. Are you fucking serious? Yep. Oh my god. I think god. I'm actually going to beat you in this one. I, you're fucking five ahead, aren't you? No, I don't think so. Um, Number 13. Did you just give me... Yeah, you gave me your point. Lucky 13. This right. is the first time one of our quizzes has gone past 12 questions. So it's extra sad. You're listening um, to history right now. <laughs> The, the listener hasn't gone past 12. <laughs> no listener has gone past 12. Which character does actress Emily Simons portray in the Australian television series Home and Away? Fuck, I've... Emily Simons. I think that's that chick. People in the podcast can't see her. I think that's that chick. Well, I thought it, did that... it say pictured? On the... I thought she was... Uh, well, it says 13 there and 13 there. Oh, yeah, so that is her. Yeah. I thought that was the chick that hosts um, Australian Ninja Warrior. Yeah, I thought she was like a sports reporter or something, that lady. Yeah. Um, but it's not. Yeah. It, obviously, it's no good for the podcast to tell you how she... But she's a blonde woman <laughs> yeah. wearing some sort of black sort of dress. Yeah. She has a neck. It's Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say the character that Emily Simons portrays is Freddie Mercury. I'm going to say um, Hayley. 
Okay, let me see. Marilyn Chambers. Neither of us are any good. I think that's Macy's sister. No, Casey's Casey. sister. <laughs> Macy Chambers. You're thinking of Macy Gray. I'm thinking of Macy Gray and Casey Chambers. Mm, crazy. Um, number 14. The sapphire is the official gemstone of which Australian state or territory? <clears throat> sapphire. Uh, it's a netball team. Where's the netball team from? That might help. Yeah, they're the sapphires. The netball Melbourne team. Melbourne sapphires? No. That's so fucking... My mum will know. Are you going to phone a friend? I'm not going to call mum at quarter past ten. Well, fuck you. Don't answer it. Don't, you can't text her. What? It's cheating. Are you going to uh, text her? It's not cheating. Or are you just going to look at her face and see if that reminds you? That's not my mum. That's my wife. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say... No, nah, Victoria's called something else. The... The netball team for Victoria is different. The yeah. Sapphires would be New South Wales. Um, you reckon New South Wales? Yeah. Because the Opals is South Australia. I know that, because that's where Opals are from. Yeah. I'm going to say and Victoria. Western Australia is the um, Blue Sky Mining Town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they call them Midnight Oils. <laughs> <laughs> and Tassie's official gemstone is just a petrified piece of dog poo. <laughs> so it's not Tassie, because it's not the, the Tasmanian <laughs> dog poo. Um, I'm going to say Victoria. What are you saying, New South Wales? Yeah, I said New South Wales. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you dumb, say Queensland? The fucking dumbest people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Queensland after I said New South Wales. All right, number 15. Which team finished on top, won the minor premiership and grand final in the 2018 NRL season? Melbourne Storm? Melbourne Sapphires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Melbourne Storm too. Oh, you would. What's the only one I know? Well, let's jump on me. jump on me back of me success. Billy Slater's my neighbour. I've got to know... Melbourne Storm is... Billy Slater's not an NRL player in your neighbourhood, though. No, nah, there's no NRL in my neighbourhood. Other than no, Victoria. It's Billy Slater, the fucking accountant. Yeah, William <laughs> L. Slater. He does me tax every, <laughs> every year. Yeah, he can only breathe through his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's just really overweight William L. Slater. <laughs> tax accountant. <laughs> tax accountant, local law attorney. <laughs> <laughs> He'd wear, he'd wear one of those, like, he'd have the jacket that doesn't get within, like, ten inches of each other down the front with, like, little, little real thin tie down the middle because thinks that a thin tie makes your guts not look as big. And as he walks past, you can literally hear the button screaming. <laughs> William L. Slater. Um, Melbourne Storm. Melbourne Storm sounds good to me. Sydney Roosters. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what you, Sydney Roosters. What a terrible name for a team. I'm sure there's uh, there's so many deadly animals in New South Wales, and you cho- choose the roosters. This one's it's so much worse. Like chicken fuckers, like the, <laughs> <laughs> the Sydney chicken fuckers. Number six. <laughs> chickens are just what dinosaurs. About, like, the chickens fun- are what just about, like, the modern the evolution. Gnarly of funnel web spiders, or like the f- yeah. What are they? The death adders, or something in Sydney. Yeah. But no, it's just the fucking. <laughs> We fuck roosters. We fuck yeah. hens sometimes. Oh, we're, we're the Sydney ducks, and they're all massive, scary people. And they've got fucking yeah, there's mountains of people. They got red rubber they should gloves just filled with the, air. In the, they should just the call the themselves helmet. the Sydney Rugby Players. It's way scarier <laughs> yeah, than way Sydney scarier. roosters. <laughs> way scarier. <laughs> they're now called the Sydney Rugby <laughs> Players. All right, number sixteen. Ugh, another one. Which singer songwriter released the album Kamikaze earlier this year? Well, I know it was Eminem. Is it? Maybe. I might be mm. wrong like every other question. Call it kamikaze. Do you reckon that's cultural appropriation of Japan? Uh, it's definitely... <laughs> all the songs are in Japanese. Yeah. Um, but they end really abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I'm going to say that little... Little <laughs> what? Little peep. <laughs> little what? Little what? Yeah. Little pimple boy. <laughs> little bruise. I'm going to go little bruise. <laughs> Uh, who do you reckon? Eminem? I know it's Eminem. Oh, okay. Eminem. You fucking disgust yeah. me you didn't know that. Why would I know that? You wear your hat backwards. <laughs> Eminem. Why shouldn't you know that? Eminem's that chocolate thing in the air. Oh, get in the bowl. If you don't know Eminem, that's just... Uh, of course I know Eminem. We well, obviously <laughs> don't. There's a guy at my work. One of the guys at my work always wears a beanie and Jake, one of the, one of the good boys at work, always calls him Slim Shady. <laughs> at the work Christmas party, Michael wasn't wearing a beanie so Jake just called him not Slim Shady. Not Slim All Shady. Not, just not Slim Shady. What are you doing? Not Slim Shady. 
<laughs> hey, um, speaking of funny nicknames, so obviously um, we've got um, a kid on our cricket team called Brock. Oh, obviously you got a team. <laughs> no, we've team got a Brock. kid on our cricket team called Brock. He's, yeah. he's seventeen or whatever. He yeah. plays in our cricket team, and he's got this like really bad habit of wearing like speed dealer sunnies. Yeah. All the time, like always wears like weird speed what dealer are speed shades. Speed dealer sunnies. Like real like old Oakleys that are just real like, oh, little yeah. and thin yeah. and just weird sunnies. And he, but it's not just one pair. Like he comes comes oh. to train him with different he has ones. A selection of, of <laughs> got, yeah. This kid's got a selection of yeah. proper ones. And Brock might listen to this podcast. And <laughs> if you listen to me, Brock, I'm telling you because I love you, mate. And he's got long hair, right? Yeah. And the captain of our team, um, Johnny, goes to him, <laughs> starts calling him Poochie on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so Pitchy, you know Poochie, yeah, like, Poochie. Itchy and Scratchy and Poochie. Yeah. Like Homer Simpson's the voice of yeah. Poochie. So he's getting called Poochie all day and he's got his long hair past his little speed dealer shades looking exactly like <laughs> Poochie of the of the Simpsons. Oh and Jesus. <coughs> that was it really. So oh, well, that's now yeah, I just like you got his new nickname on the weekend, so that's Poochie. he's Poochie for now. So there you go, Brock, you're Poochie forever. Poochie thought, forever. For a, for a second I thought that was Related to one of the questions, but it wasn't. No, not at all. No, it's just something I thought of just then. It's, it just keeps going back to cricket, really, isn't it? <laughs> uh, number 17. What is the nickname given to the Australian men's soccer team? Socceroos, mate. Soccer rugby players, I think. So- <laughs> so- to make themselves no, scary. The, so- the soccer rubies. Soccer rubies. Not the, so- not the soccer dog poos. That's the um, Tassie one. No, it's, yeah, it's the soccer poopies there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Socceroos, isn't it? Yeah. Is that a nickname? I thought that was what they were actually called. No, no, no. They're the um, <laughs> they're the Australian. Um, what are they? Do you know the only thing that I know about AFL football? Literally, the only thing is when Fremantle was becoming a team. On the Footy Show, they were walking around Fremantle asking people what they should name the team. Oh, with Sam Newman. Yeah, with Sam. Yeah, Newman. great. Sam and Newman. they came great across an old Newman. guy with no teeth. <laughs> And they said, what should they call it? And he said, the shitfish. The Fremantle shitfish. And to this day, my mum and dad still, still call, call them, them the, shit the Fremantle shitfish. That's just what they are. Well, would you rather be called the Dockers or the shitfish? And yeah, it's a, it's a 50-50. Get us a coin, couldn't you? I could have made, made them one docked 13 barbecue shapes. <laughs> Literally. Like at one time. Yeah, at one time. He pushed like four or five in there and kept putting more in. And his wang looked like a hammerhead shark. And then he ate him. So yeah, fucked. yeah, it was really bad. He's the one who docked your foot peg on your KX. Oh, I still got the photo of that. Yeah, I haven't got those foot pegs on anymore. Though I got rid of them. <laughs> you keep, you just keep them next to your bed instead. I sniff them every now and then. <laughs> but yeah, so it's crazy. They so, go, yeah, they go but... from black to cheese. <laughs> oh jeez, they look like the um. Ah, oh, what was that chocolate that was white on one side and black on the other? What's the next question, Dave? I don't know. Number 18. <laughs> the Spanish town of Bunol? Well, you're going to have to say that correctly. Bunol? B-U-N-O-L. Uh, Bunol. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> it's famous for its festival based around which fruit? Uh, oh, the running of the bulls. With the tomatoes. How's that? Bulls? Tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. Tomato but, festival. But what's it got to do with bulls? No, because you throw them at the bulls. So <laughs> <fuck off. laughs> they hate reds. They hate getting hit with tomatoes, mate. That's how they get them really angry at the start. They just throw tomatoes. At I don't them. think the running of the bulls involves. It's a tomato tomatoes. festival, but I either way, that was Pamplona. No, that's that. That has the running of the bulls. Pamplona the running of the tomatoes. <laughs> Just, they open the gate, all the tomatoes just sit there making, they just sit there making tomato sounds. <laughs> some, of them, some of them roll out off the top, which is kind of scary. They get a fair bit of speed up off the pile. So the of running tomatoes. of the tomatoes is in Punol, I think. Let me have a look. Tomatoes, it is tomatoes. I yes. went with tomatoes too, so. I don't know how you got into tomatoes. That's yeah. That was my guess well, pretty exclusively. I said tomatoes are a fruit. Well, that wasn't with, the question. I left you with the, the bullshit. The question way. wasn't, is tomatoes a fruit? Is tomatoes a fruit? <laughs> That's good English. I'm talking with a limp. Um, number 19. Malcolm Turnbull was the sitting member of which House of Representatives seat before resigning earlier this year? I don't know. Let was me read the, Was again. he the boss? The PM? Yeah, he was the Darth Vader of it. Like, he was in charge. He was the Prime Minister. I'm oh, sure. but you know what? He's electorate. I don't... 
Oh, like Darth Vader. Like Rich Sydney electorate is where he's from. Wherever the richest part of Sydney is, that was his electorate. The Clues? I don't know. Was the sitting member of which house, house of I think it's pink. Which, ha- pink house. which house of representative seat before resigning earlier this year? I don't really... I don't know anything about politics. I, don't know, I didn't know they had safe seats. I thought they just all went in there. Yeah. So wherever you got a seat, if you got in there early, you got better seats. And if you didn't, well, go in there. Go the top. Like, the, he goes in there and there's the kids from like the start of Forest Gump. The seat's taken. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is where I always sit. <laughs> let me see. Um, I don't know. Let me have a look. Wentworth. Isn't that a prison? It is, yeah. yeah. He's pretty good in there. <clears throat> yeah. He's high up in the prison. He shanked a few guys. So. <laughs> exactly. If you shake enough dudes, you get the seat there. He's a guy that knows how to get things. Yeah. Number 20. Melbourne's Etihad Stadium was renamed to what in September this year? Marvel Stadium. Is it really? Yep. Actually, my... Um... Really? Jesus Christ. Well, you don't that. know that. I didn't know that. Well, Marvel there you go. Stadium. And actually, a bit of fun trivia. Um... Good mate of mine, Kev Mack, um, runs like, Tats like Up. Like Meg Mack? Pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, runs Tats Up and they got their five year anniversary Run, there runs tonight. Runs what? I didn't understand. Tats Up Supply Company. A tattoo Supply Company. Oh, okay. Um, and he's actually running their fifth year anniversary there as we speak. Oh. Sad party. Brought to you by, what is it? Tats Up? Tats Up, yeah. Tats Up. Brought yeah, to you by yeah. Tats Up. Yeah, so yeah. I'll just, um, I'll invoice you, Kev, if you hear this. Yeah, cheers. Give us some, you can give us some more. Money, so we can you just give us Bunnings vouchers. <laughs> that's fine. Bunnings vouchers and for sausages. Escaping reviews. Um, so is it Marvel Stadium? Is no. It? Well, oh, it actually is Marvel Stadium. I thought you were hanging crap on me. Well, fuck you! How do you, how dare you take a point for that? No, you, I didn't take a point for that. You shouldn't. I knew I didn't get it. it I Star Wars. Didn't know Star that. Wars Stadium. No, it's not Star Wars. Yeah, Stadium, Darth Vader's it? the boss. No, because George Lucas wouldn't allow that. Oh. Just a little stadium. I didn't want the MCG. Didn't... Yeah. So. Did that get named Marvel Stadium after Stan Lee had died? No, it was it happened before. Said it wasn't like a tribute. It was like two months ago. I'm sure it? they figured it out before Stan Lee died. Yeah, he only just died. Yeah. But well, there we go. Oh, oh that's Lee's right. Dead. I better tell you enough. Let me have a look. Mitch got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of 20. That's... Dale got one, two, three, four, five, six. Even. Did Fuck, I get again. six? Is that right? Yeah, six. Even. Six out of twenty, though. That's yeah. Six out of twenty is kind of useless. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> we might as well just kill ourselves. So, um, we are the dumbest people. Uh, it's not our fault. Our quite, listeners quite are, actually. To be fair, we will only be as dumb. But then we've got people who actually listen to this podcast who are dumber. <laughs> it's good, I and we love you for it. We yeah. do love you for it. But uh, yeah. you know. Anyway, so we've had a lot of people leaving reviews, and they need to be. Some of them are pretty good. Some are pretty offensive. Some, some just said one of them just said shit. So I think that one will get taken down by iTunes. Then again, iTunes might listen to it. And go, yeah, <laughs> but, it wasn't even. It wasn't even just like shit with an exclamation point or shit in like capitals. Yeah. It was literally a voice recording of someone. <laughs> so when you go on iTunes, you have to hit play and it's someone screaming <laughs> shit down the. Uh, it's just. <laughs> It was someone was just left a review trying to work out how to spell the sound of a dog getting hit by a car. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's all it is. Sad party. Like a dog getting hit by a car. Oh um, god. I don't know. Have you got anything fun to say? Well, um, we'll definitely have some more episodes coming soon because um, I'm yeah, we've always been very surprised with how many people have actually listened to it and. I've actually been pretty amazed at the positive response we've had, yeah, which is I'm, I'm actually completely proud. blowing me away. But um, so yeah, there'll be more stuff, and we're giving away a Bunnings voucher, which is unheard of for a podcast. Generally, we ask you for money and donations, yeah, exactly. but we're not going to do that because we have normal fucking jobs, yeah. and we're not comedians <laughs> and bums. So, and we're not actually any good. Like, I'd feel bad asking people for money. So we should pay you to listen to it. Really, <laughs> exactly. there should be like a reverse charge on so, Apple iTunes. So, which brings me to our next point: every single person who listens to this, Mitch is going to give you a dollar. Every single one. <laughs> so, just send your invoices to Mitch. Care of Tats Up at Marvel Stadium. <laughs> Tats Up at Marvel Stadium. Go see the guys at Tats Up at Marvel Stadium and tell them, just hold your hand out for your dollar. <laughs> What's his name? Kev. Kev, yeah. Kev say, Kev, Mitch sent me. Just hold your hand out. <laughs> Give us a dollar, mate. Because he dollar. shouted out yeah. um, Tats Up on his shit podcast. It's garbage. Sad party, we pay you a dollar. 